despair I alone must care Will the jungle reach forever Is there no escaping never Gnashing teeth of pylons in the sky In the sky In the sky Somewhere I could hold in my hands the sands of time Where the sound is solitude And the world is mine Far beyond the teeming highways Far from all the screaming skyways There must be a place for living free As the air Anywhere Anywhere That is just great! No, seriously, what do you think? Yeah, it's a smash. I know I don't sing it very well, but... Toot did fine, fine. Really? Huh. Well, where do we go from here? Ah, huh, well, uh, do you have any money? How do you mean? Oh, come on, man, I mean, you know the scene. We, we got to get a score and make a demo, so you've got any money. Not that kind. <laughs> Neither do I. So that's it? Oh, I'm afraid so. I mean, you know, without a demo, we wouldn't get the Giants to give us a hearing. I wish it was otherwise, but, uh, well, that's the scene. Well, thanks for listening. Hey, does this stuff give you a kick? Yeah, it does. Did. Huh. Hey, how about that? Well, look, I, uh, I am awful sorry of... Well, anyway, uh, good hunting, huh? <laughs> Bye. Ciao. Well, that was a dead loss. No good. Can you imagine a dead butterfly collector? Do you mean he kills butterflies? That's right. <sighs> That's right. care for a glass of port. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. It's vitamin packed and is all we've got which should clue you in. Uh, I say, how do you like our place? It's wild. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It really is. Sit down. I mean, how come? A guy like you and a dump like this. Oh, oh, this is my brother Randolph's. He's asleep now. He gets up with the dawn and goes to bed when the sun goes down. <laughs> this place comes under the heading of the law of primogeniture, which means the firstborn takes all. 
No, I, I mean originally. <laughs> well, that was my little old granddaddy. Uh, he was English, and uh, he decided to emigrate. So he came here and he built this house. And you? Oh, well, I am the first black sheep of the family. Oh, that's funny. What? Well, I know. I mean, I, I found out the hard way, but I really know what the whole stupid pop scene is about. I tell you, Jimmy, I could put you out there in front if you were only one quarter as good as you are. No, I could. It's not what it takes. What? Just as much as my stupid brother donates each year to the SPCA. Well, won't he help you? Randolph. Hmm. Oh, no, no, Randolph, uh, you wouldn't lift a finger to help me. That's why I invited you down here, Jimmy. How do you mean? Well, you see, in the first place, Randolph is absolutely gone about the English. <laughs> well, he is. It's a butterfly bit of you that's actually giving me the idea. See, Randolph belongs to every nature-loving society you can name. Go on. Well, the naturalist bit. Like you. But you're only Randolph, I mean, he's screwy about it. And another thing, see, Randolph is lonely. So what I figure is that if you two became friends, well, then it would be like the deep calling the deep. Well, supposing he doesn't like me. Well, why wouldn't he? Well, you're a very likable fellow. My idea is, you see, that... Uh, you and Randolph will have a naturalist honeymoon for a week or ten days, however long it takes, and then you will slip it to him that what you really want to be is a composer and that you've written this song. Only you tell him that the only way you can get started nowadays is with money. You'll never buy it. Well, it's worth a try, isn't it? What have we got to lose? I thought you were asleep. I saw him. Who? That boy. So? He looks nice. Sort of young and nice. So? I wasn't expecting that. So. I just wish I hadn't seen him. Go to sleep. Mr. Brintle. That's right, Jimmy. Mr. Erdu? Randolph, please. I'm sorry I didn't greet you last night, but it's delightful to have you. Please help yourself. Thank you. Did you sleep well? Yes, thank you. You're a fellow naturalist, I believe. Well, uh, sort of jack of all trades, really. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, go for the naturalist bit in a big way. At least as a kid I used to. I love to watch butterflies. Moths too. Those big heavy fellows that come in of an evening and knock themselves against the light. I've had to put as many as oh, ten out of the window in one evening. Back they come again. Poor deluded things. You're an improvement on the majority of Valdo's friends. That probably sounds unkind. It's not exactly flower talk. 
I'm very fond of Rollo, but the truth is that we don't get on too well. Perhaps a friend like you will help to steady him. You never know. I hope so. Good morning. Ah, we were talking about you. Oh, no scandal, I hope. Indeed, no. Well, if you'll excuse me, I must be off. But please, make yourself at home. Thank you. I don't want it. Now, you are a drag. Yeah, you can be a real dead drag sometimes, you know that? You say the nicest of things. Yeah, well, marriage mellows a guy. Have they met? Oh, yes, they have met. And they are just like that. I just hope you know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. Oh, come on, look. It's got to be just fine. Are you sure you don't want that? Are you sure? Well, then, um, can I tempt you with something else? Like what? <laughs> come on, now. Don't be naive. I hate you. Groovy. Come with me. What's going on? I'd better find out. Huh? I'd better find out. Go to your room. But officer, Mr. Rintle is my brother's guest. What is all this? It's this dog. A dog? What dog? Sam Cress's guard dog. An Alsatian. Was in trouble for killing some cats a while back, I told you. Don't you remember? He was fined and ordered to keep it under control. Well, you found the dog in his throat cut. Your guest was standing there. I tell you, I'd never been there before in my life. I found the dog. It was dead already. Uh, cool it, Jimmy. So what if you did find him there? What does that prove? Perhaps a lot. Because we have a witness who's prepared to swear that he saw someone make their way back here after the crime. Your witness, has he positively identified Mr. Rintle? Well, it was dark, but... Just so. Randolph, you have your moments, and this is one of them. This is not the first time this sort of thing has happened, you know. Your evidence, wouldn't you say it was circumstantial? Randolph strikes again. Wouldn't you say that your evidence was circumstantial? It's good enough for me. Even if we can shoot it full of holes. Can you? Hodgson. Yes, sir. Did you lock up last night as usual? Yes, sir. About what time was that? A little after midnight. Did you happen to notice if Mr. Rintle was in? Yes, I must have disturbed him locking up. That's right, I spoke to him outside my room. Suppose you had locked up, he could have let himself out, couldn't he? Hardly, sir. My instructions are to remove the keys and keep them with me until I open up again. And uh, what time did you arrive here? Yesterday evening. For the very first time? That's right, yeah. I think that you owe our guest an apology. Don't think you've heard the end of this. Come on, man. Now, don't be a bad loser. We're not going to hold it against you. Come on, I'll see you and your friends out. Yeah. You're not going to let him go, are you? There's nothing else we can do, Sam. At least for the time being. 
Gentlemen. Come on, boys. Hudson, I'm proud of you. Sir? What you did up there. What I did, I did for Mr. Randolph. Yes, I'm not flattering myself. But thank you just the same. Thank you, sir. An unfortunate business for you, I apologize. All that song and dance about a dog. Why? People are getting edgy. Fact is, they're having similar cases of this kind. Dogs getting killed? Cruelty to animals being avenged. Though who's responsible? Why do they pick on me? Blood calls for blood. The workings of justice are secret and incalculable. Are you on the killer's side? I. I think I hate cruelty more than anything else in the world. But cutting a dog's throat wasn't that cruel? No. At least the victims appear to have died with a minimum of suffering. Let's forget the whole sorry business, or try to. Think of something more cheerful. You must be Vera. Who else should I be? I don't know. I don't know. Aren't you slow, just like all men? Like Rollo? Too slow. Too fast. Usually headed in the wrong direction. He's being stupid now. Rollo knows what he's doing. You think that, you'd think anything. Well, he's got a plan, you know. He's full of plans, but they never work out. Why do you get involved? Why am I boring you? Who says you are? I know when I'm being a drag. What's this? It's my killing bottle. Who are you going to use it on? Me? You? Butterflies, that's all. What have they ever done to you? Nothing. They're harmless? Yeah. So why kill them? You don't look like a barbarian, are you one? I hope not. Then why do it? I don't know. I guess as a kid. Go on. I was an only kid. Pretty much alone. This was solo. Competitive, you know? I didn't start out to be a collector. I just... Something rare. If it was mine, then I felt like someone. Do you still get a kick out of it? No. I think I hate it. When did you take to writing songs? About a year ago. It's better than killing butterflies, isn't it? <gasps> it's beautiful. Well, well. Am I too early or too late? Lend me this. Did she just uh, drop by or did you invite her in? I found her here. What did you do? Talked. About what? Butterflies, mostly. Oh. Cute. Now, look, don't get any wrong ideas. Oh, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, Jimmy. Uh, Vera, um... Well, she's, um, a little mixed up, you know what I mean? Oh, oh, don't get me wrong. I want us to get along just fine, all of us. Only, um, don't get out of your depth.
Hodgson. Sir? Would you ask my brother to kindly turn the volume of that music down a trifle? Yes, sir. Brothers really listening, and that's great. Come on, back to work. I've had it. What's eating you? All these locked doors and walls. I feel, I don't know, trapped. Oh, stone walls do not a prison me. They do for me. Tisk tisk. I mean, there was some way out. Oh, but there is, Jimmy. I told you that. Just what is going on? Now, Jimmy. Now, you better tell me or I quit. Simmer down. I mean it. Okay. You see, I know who killed that dog. You know? Yeah, and all the other animals that have got themselves carved up around here. Well, who? It's Randolph. Randolph? Your brother, Randolph? What would he do that for? Oh, well, now, how should I know? You know, an eye for an eye, one man's war against cruelty. You see, Jimmy, Randolph is unbalanced. Well, let's do something. What? We'll turn him in. What for? They'll lock him up. What good will that do? He'll be out of the way. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. And the money right along with him. I tell you, they take very good care of head cases these days. He could be locked up in that bin for years. We wouldn't get a whiff of that money, and we need it. Look, I tell you, the only way this will work is my way. Well, how do you make friends with a head case? Well, you see, you don't. But you said... I know, I know I did, but... Well, you see, I didn't know you very well then, and... Well, I'm afraid that pitch I gave you, it uh, wasn't entirely true. Well, what is the angle? Well, the way I figure is this, that if we laid on a little demonstration for Randolph with your killing bottle, he just might flip and then we could nail him. Nail him? Yeah. We tell him unless he comes across, we will have to commit him. Well, what about the money? Understandably, he'd do anything to stay free. Do you mean blackmail him? Oh. Well, yes. Yeah, but look, I mean, we'll let him stay here if he comes across with the money. I don't want to have anything to do with it. Oh. Oh, for heaven's sake, what kind of a scheme is that? It's wilder than your brother. What is the matter with you? You don't want the money suddenly? Sure, I want the money. Well, you think it's just going to be handed to you? Money doesn't come that easily. Believe me, you have got to earn it. I don't know. Jimmy. What's wrong? That dream of yours, don't you want it anymore? To be someone for the first time in your life. Well, it, it could get out of hand. How? Well, the guy's dangerous, isn't he? Oh, I see, that's it. You know, all that talk. And when it comes right down to it, you're just plain scared. You want to chicken out. Okay, okay, I mean, we don't need you. We're doing you the favor. If you don't want to do it, that's fine, baby. Just pack up your gear and get out. No, we can always find ourselves under the composer. They are a dime a dozen. You don't want to hit the heights with us, that's great. Just go right back to your attic. We're not going to cry, believe you me. Okay, all right. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, don't do us any favors. No, I'll, I'll do it. Look. Not unless you want to. I want to. Are you sure? 
Sure. Oh, look, there's nothing to be scared of. I mean, all we are going to do is just push Randolph until he comes across with the money. And there's you and there's Vera and me. I mean, that's three against one, so there's nothing to be afraid of. I'd better go and get a specimen, then. Yeah. the way I sing it? I'm not down. Well, it's quite a number. Oh, Vera. No, you can't have your killing bottle. I need it. What for? Those horrible hairy moths that come in at night. Please. Look, go home. I can't, you know that. Why not? Hasn't Rollo told you? Give me your hand. There's danger in your hands. Danger? In the line. Danger to me? <laughs> Such conceit. Yes, to you. What kind of danger? Danger de mort. What does that mean? Death. Oh, come off it. You want to kill me? Randolph? Oh, Rollo's taken care of all that, you know. I do. But don't you believe him? Or have you turned chicken? Is that it? I'm tougher than you people think, you know. Tougher? Thicker skinned, you mean? Yes. You're thick skinned, all right. Here, have back your wretched killing bottle. I wish I'd broken it. So will you before we're through. I wanted to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. All right, have it your own way. How can I help you if you won't let me? But you're a fool. You're a blind, conceited fool. Ah. Here he comes. Very interesting. May I? Go ahead. But one whiff only. I don't want you getting ill. Oh, I don't know. I think you look rather cute in one of those cork boards. I'd imagine something larger. I don't need a mausoleum. But I was under the impression you used it to kill pests. Oh, no, 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 no. Just butterflies. You know, uh... Pretty, pretty, pretty. But some of those come into the category of pests, don't they? I wouldn't know. Well, the cabbage butterfly, for instance, and noxious insects have to be destroyed. I suppose all insects are more or less harmful. No. No, there are categories. I've been at some pains to draw them up. The list of destructive winged insects is large, too large. I had imagined that your lethal chamber would be a vessel of considerable size, possibly big enough to admit a man that its use would be attended by some danger. Well, I suppose there is a certain amount of danger. Uh, why don't you show us?
of what flower or vegetable is this dead butterfly the parasite? Come again? What harm does it do? Oh, as a caterpillar, it might have eaten a leaf or two, but that's all. It's uh, too rare to be a pest. More like a robin, the book says. Not injurious, then? Oh, no. Strictly a collector's piece. With the lights. They appear to have failed, sir. Well, can't you fix them? I'm sorry, these are the best I can do. We've sent to the village for a man, an electrician. He'll come up in the morning. Okay. Thanks. Give up. It's not going to work. Admit it, we're beaten. Shut up, will you? What are you going to do then? Well, it just came to me. We are clearing out and leaving Jimmy as live bait. No. Is he that important to you? He's a human being. Oh. Is that what he is? And I had this funny notion you were gone on the guy. Whatever happened to your ego? Just what do you feel about him? I just can't stand by and watch him get killed. Well, that's fair. It's really very touching and maternal. Okay. I will make sure that your latest baby boy comes to no harm. No, 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 that that is a promise. Only please, trust me. Come on now. You get dressed and I'll change, but let's go. Where are they? They're in the Chinese room. I've just this minute moved them. Why? It was Mr. Randolph's orders. May I show you, sir? I told Mr. Randolph the light was faulty in your bedroom, so he said to move you into here. But, but he's next door. That is right. I'm sure you'll be quite comfortable here, sir. It's a beautiful room. Well, what do I do if I need you in a hurry? You only have to ring, sir. That's a relief. Thank you, sir. Oh, and uh, tell Rollo I've moved, will you? Oh, didn't he see you, sir? I'm afraid he and Mrs. Verdue have left us for a day or two. Why? Where have they gone? He said an audition for Mrs. Verdure. Sounded most hopeful about it. Is there anything else, sir?
What's the matter? You look as though you've had a shock. That dog. It says here that the police believe that it was killed with the same weapon that was used to murder two men. Howell and Presland. You know about it? Yes, but there's no need to be alarmed. Alarmed? What have I got to be alarmed about? Nothing. You just said... It all happened some time ago. Those two men killed a horse, a harmless beast. They killed it through negligence and maltreatment. This guy goes around avenging cruelty, did the men? Is that it? No other motive came to light. You wouldn't happen to know, did it, I suppose? No one knows. But I shouldn't let it worry you. Who says I'm worried? We're quite safe here. No one can get in without my knowing. No. Try to put it out of your mind. Okay. Drink. Hmm. If you are going to be sick, be sick. I don't even feel sick. Don't tell me you're going to have a baby. I mean, that's all we need. It's time we went back. We are not going back. But Randolph will kill him. That is right. Now, we will say Randolph did it. Randolph will be hanged. I am next in line. I will get the money. You meant for Jimmy to get killed all alone. Oh, Jimmy, 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 will you shut up about Jimmy? Hey. Hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? Hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm going back. The hell you are. Give me those keys. I am going to teach you a lesson. This is for cheating, that is for lying, and that is for the butterfly boy. I've warned him. What? I warned him. You push you. What do you do a thing like that for? He'll just suffer more. He won't be able to get away. He asked for help. And who's going to give it to him? Hudson! Hudson is Randolph's man. He'll help bury Jimmy. Get down there. Well, I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. Good night. Good night.
after that, sir. You go to bed. I've checked the list. My mind is made up. I know you're right, but, but we don't want any more trouble with the police, do we? The verdict is guilty. But Mr. Randolph... But get out of my way. <laughs> Hello? Goodbye. Hodgson's Randolph's man, and he'll say it was an accident. Am I right? Get in. Why? Because I will need you there as a witness. It'll be our word against Hodgson's. I'm going back to save Jimmy. Oh, it may be too late for that already. Well, it better not be. There's still the money. Get there in time, and I'll help you lean on Randolph. I'll go as far as that. But if Jimmy gets killed, I'll see you get what's coming to you. Is that you, Hodgson? He's not here. Where is he? He's gone out. Is there anything I can do? No, it, it was just... It's all right. Are you sure? Yes. Sorry I bothered you. Sleep well then. And you. I'll find you. I'll find you. 